Well, hello everyone and welcome to a very rainy um, Monday afternoon. Third video of the day. I'm really telling you I'm going to get caught up. Changed my shirt so y'all wouldn't think I only have one shirt. But I thought I would take you along because I'm going to do something really fun. And I think they'll allow me to film in here as long as I just, you know, don't capture any customers. I think I'll do it and then ask. <clears throat> no harm, no foul, right? This is one of my very favorite places to go. It's called Pfeiffer Orchards. It's a farm market. They have incredible produce, organic and non-organic, and a lot of you pick opportunities. I uh, This is where I got my blackberries you pick. But I'm here today because I wanna get some pumpkin to can. I do have my own uh, pie pumpkins growing, but I'm worried with the change of weather that my last two that I really need are maybe not going to get ripe. So I thought, you know what, let's just like take the bull by the horns. Let's go to Pfeiffer's. Like I really need to go here, but I love it here. So stay tuned. I'll take you inside. trying to be careful not to video anyone. But as you see, everywhere you look, they just have great, great produce. And in the back, oh, they have local honey and Ohio maple syrup. Tons and tons of honey. And and I'm going to turn off because it's... All right, so mission accomplished. Um, it's kind of crowded in there, and I didn't want to film people who didn't want to be filmed. And um, I did ask before I did it, and they were, like, totally fine with it, so that's great. So let me swing around one more time as I back out, and I want to just give you an overview of how beautiful this place is. It is in Yellow Springs, Ohio, not the town I live in, but close enough that... Um, makes it a simple little trip out. Well, we're back from the orchard. Such a fun trip, such a beautiful place. And I feel very blessed to have discovered it. It's kind of hidden and out of the way, but they have a strong presence on Facebook if you wanna take a look at P-E-I-F-E-R orchards. So what did I buy? Well, I'm sitting with what I bought. I ended up purchasing four pie pumpkins they had beautiful pumpkins. These are still wet because they immediately needed a bath because they were pretty dirty. And I did, I'm gonna leave them in my kitchen for right now. I still have three pie pumpkins on the vine. <sighs> but with the colder weather moving in and the change in, in the weather, I am really concerned that they may not ripen in time. So I've been talking to them on the daily, but you know, we'll see what happens. I do have one pie pumpkin that has ripened and what I plan to do is what I can get directly from what I've grown used to make a special pie or a special dish if I don't have enough for pie. What I'm going to do with these is actually I'm going to have them take the seeds out, um, section them into wedges, peel them, so lots of chopping, and then cut them into one inch cubes. I'll blanch them for two minutes. They will go into canning jars and into the pressure canner. So I may make a video on that as well. You know, a lot of you are interested in pressure canning. So I will use a gauged pressure canner for this because it is pumpkin and you wanna make sure that um, it's canned safely for you and your family. So that's what I bought. Plus <clears throat> I was able to secure two pounds of Pfeiffer Orchard raw honey. And I'm going to use this in my mead making, which I've uh, alluded to in earlier videos. It's something new I wanna try. It's, it's a wine that you use to extract, I'm going to use to extract the beneficial properties of herbs to make some home remedies. That's probably the best way to say it. So you do need to use raw honey 
Using local honey is a really good idea if you have allergies or problems with allergies. I don't. Um, so, but it's supposed to bring you more benefits and protection against allergies. So food for thought. And then the final thing I bought, which was totally not necessary, but really neat. We have in this town, a really cool woodworker. And I cannot for the life of me think of the name of the company, but I digress. This is a honey, um, scooper. So you can go in the jar, get some honey, and it will hold the honey, and then you can put it on your biscuits, which I haven't been eating honey or biscuits on the diet, but um, needed the honey dipper. So that, that was kind of an impulse buy, but it's a beautiful um, handcrafted, really smooth honey dipper. And being a beekeeper, although my bees ran away from home this year, um, I have all kinds of honey and bee-related items, but that was one I did not have. So I hope you've enjoyed this little trip through the country to the uh, Pfeiffer Orchards. And I hope you're getting ready for fall. Don't forget, as I said, forecast to have a shortage of canned pumpkin. I did an earlier video where I kept saying pumpkin pie mix. And it's actually pumpkin pie filling that's often butternut squash. And that was my butternut squash video. So I am going to have... I'm hoping I can, I'm going to do pints because it's mostly me and it's hard to judge like how much pumpkin I'm going to get out of this. I don't really know, but, but we'll see what we can get out of it. Plus what I have in the garden. So be well, be healthy, be blessed. Have a great day.